From the Detroit Free Press, I'm Robin Chan with today's voice briefing. It's Tuesday, November 19th, 2024. I'm Sue Selaski, Detroit Free Press food and restaurant writer. Health officials on Sunday issued a recall alert and are urging consumers to check their refrigerators for packages of bagged organic carrots recalled because of possible E. coli contamination. Grimway Farms, based in Bakersfield, California, is voluntarily recalling raw, whole, and baby organic carrots sold under several brands and distributed to retail distribution centers nationwide that are linked to the outbreak. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's recall alert, 39 people have been infected with a strain of E. coli in 18 states, including Michigan. 15 people have been hospitalized with infections and one person has died, the alert says. Michigan health officials say there is one confirmed case in Michigan that is leaked to this outbreak. While the carrots should no longer be for sale in stores, the concern is that they are still in consumer refrigerators or freezers. The bagged carrots, according to the FDA's recall alert, were available in stores from approximately August 14th through October 23rd. The whole carrots have no best if used by dates on the bags, and organic peeled and cut carrots have best if used by dates ranging from September 11th through November the 12th, and were sold under more than a dozen brands, including Kroger's Simple Truth, Whole Foods 365, and Target's Good & Gather. If you have the recalled products, you should throw them away. From reporter Darcy Moran, Detroit might get its first snowflakes of the season this week. But while temperatures will dip to create that possibility, the area isn't currently expected to get its first freeze of the season yet. That's notable, because whenever the first freeze arrives, it will be the latest a first freeze has been documented in 150 years at the official Detroit area recording site. The record is currently November 15th, according to Trent Frey, a meteorologist for the National Weather Service in White Lake. That record was hit in both 1915 and 1946. This year, most areas of southeast Michigan have already experienced a freeze, hitting 32 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. But the Detroit Metropolitan Airport recording site in Romulus has not, according to Frey. Neither has Detroit City Airport. Frey said Tuesday is expected to be a drizzly day in Metro Detroit, but temperatures will remain fairly similar until Thursday. Thursday and Friday could bring those snowflakes, with the most likely day being Thursday, according to Frey. He noted that there are some moving parts, however. Temperatures are currently expected to drop Thursday and Friday, with highs in the 40s and lows in the mid-30s. For more on this story, you can search on Freep.com for Darcy Moran's article, Detroit may see first snowflakes this week, will surpass record for latest first freeze. From Jalen Williams and Dave Boucher, state officials were hoping hunters would take more does during the current firearm season, but the early numbers show that hasn't been the case. The Michigan Department of Natural Resources posted reporting numbers for the first weekend of firearm deer season. Hunters reported over 157,000 deer taken during 2024 to this point. Since the start of the firearm season, November 15th, over 61,000 deer have been taken. Of that total, over 45,000 were bucks or antler deer. Just over 16,000 does or antlerless deer were taken. Sanilac County hunters led the way with 2,078 total deer harvested, including 1,577 bucks. According to the Michigan DNR, officials had been hoping hunters would choose to take more does this year as the state's deer population swells. There may be as many as 2 million deer in the state. For more on this story, you can search on Freep.com for Jalen Williams and Dave Boucher's article, Michigan hunters shot more than 61,000 deer already. Here's where they're seeing success. Find more from the Detroit Free Press on Freep.com. That's F-R-E-E-P.com. Thanks for listening, and you'll hear more from us tomorrow.